song there on the back, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. My friend, consider, does your life matter? Why do we celebrate Christmas? Why is it sad when somebody dies? Have you ever considered why is there suffering in the world? Have you ever considered why you're here and what you're living for? What is the purpose of life? Do you believe nothing created everything that you see? Do you believe there is a God but nobody can know it? Or do you believe that the God that created speaks can speak in a clear manner? My friend, consider the evidence. Okay, the evidence is that nothing can't produce anything, can it? Nothing produces nothing. And you and I speak, we read, we think. So where did that all come from? It came from an intelligent designer who speaks. And you might say, I don't believe that. It doesn't matter whether you believe it or not, it's true. Does your life matter? What happens when you die? And can you be sure? You see, the God who is truly there tells us his character. He speaks for himself. He says his character is love. He says his character is justice. And my friends, if you say there is no God, where is your evidence for that? You see, my friends, reality strikes when we least expect it. Why is there suffering in the world? Do you know? You see, the God who is truly there gives answers to the world's problems. And you know what the world's greatest problem is? The world's greatest problem is it doesn't know where to find forgiveness. Or it rejects the forgiveness of the God who created this world offers. And you might say, I don't believe that. It doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. Is it true? You see, you might say, I don't believe in electricity. Does it get rid of electricity? See, your belief system doesn't make truth. Does it? My belief system doesn't make truth. A lie remains a lie even if everybody believes it. My friend, a man, 2,000 years ago he said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. My friend, that man did things only God could do. That man was willing, was willing, even though he was in control of every element that's on planet Earth, even though he could have wiped out of the entire nation, he was willing to die on the cross so you and I could have forgiveness with the true God. You might say, I don't believe that. It doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. Is it true? You see, Jesus claimed to be eternal. He claimed that before time was, before matter was, before this earth existed, he was already existing. He claimed there was no time that he never existed. You see, my friend, Jesus, the man who claimed to be God, paid an eternal death that me and you owe. You see, my friend, the Bible teaches us that the God who is truly there has put eternity in our hearts. So we know, don't we, but when we die, it's not the end. Jesus told about a heaven and hell. I spoke to a man earlier, or he spoke to me, and he thought everybody was forgiven. I don't believe that. Why well, don't I believe that? Because Jesus never taught that. You see, my friend, the God who is truly there is totally just. Do you believe evil should be punished? Do you believe People that harm children should be punished. Do you believe that? I do. Do you believe murderers, people that kill innocent people, should be punished? I do. 
My friend, do you believe that? And why do you believe that? Or is that everything relative? It doesn't matter what you do. It's everything relative. It doesn't matter what you murder people. It doesn't matter what you're good to people. It doesn't matter because there's nothing after this life. My friend, your life matters. And it really does matter what you do and what you think and what you say. Because you and I have eternity in front of us. What are the ones dying then what? You know, Jesus, the man who died and rose from the dead, tells us. You see, my friend, no one sits on the middle road. No one sits on the fence. Jesus says there's a heaven or a hell. There's no middle ground. And many people come up to me and says, well, I'm not against Jesus, but I don't believe in him. As he says, my friends, that's not true. Jesus says you're either for me or against me. Jesus says we should love our neighbour as ourselves. Imagine that on planet Earth. Every single human being loves their neighbour as themselves. You get rid of war. You get rid of starvation. You get rid of poverty. Imagine that. You see, Jesus gives real solutions to real problems. Why is there suffering in this world? No. Jesus, the man who suffered like no one else suffered. My I'm friend, suffering right now. So suffering doesn't relate, does it? How can a good man who did nothing wrong suffer? How can a good man who is God suffer so much? My friend, do you know why? Do you know why Jesus suffered? Do you know why Jesus died? Do you know why Jesus rose from the dead? Do you know why Jesus walked into a sinful world? No! Because God is love. God is just. And me and you can never work our way up to God. Me and you can never undo the wrong we've done. No one can get to God on their own merits. Do you know that? Loads of religions, many religions will tell you, do this, do the other, and you might get there. Jesus doesn't say that. Jesus died for guilty sinners. So me and you can be put right with him. We're going to turn from our sin and put our trust in him. You see, eyewitness account, John, an eyewitness who was there when Jesus walked on planet Earth. And he wrote this book so you and I can believe. 2,000 years ago we weren't there. But John was. And he saw. And he recorded things. And he couldn't get over how much Jesus loved him. You see, prayer works. Did you know that? Prayer works. Have you ever read that? You read it now. Have you done it? You do it now. Yeah, you do. Everybody does it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.